Now we get to problem six of the test three review. A car engine is 500 degrees Celsius and the exhaust is 120 degrees Celsius. So the engine is the hotter part and then the exhaust is behind the car where the muffler, the, the exhaust gases come out. Uh, the car is 60% of ideal efficiency. That doesn't mean the car is 60% efficient, but it is 60% as efficient as you could possibly be. 60% of ideal efficiency. The question says, how much work will the car be able to do for every thousand joules that it extracts from the engine? Okay. So this uh, theory is about uh, thermodynamics. A heat engine is defined as basically an engine that operates between two temperatures, uh, the hot temperature and the cold temperature. And it's able to extract a certain amount of heat from the hotter reservoir, right? A certain amount of heat from the hotter reservoir. So here's the engine. Imagine this is the engine. So uh, Q heat, a certain amount of heat is coming into the engine from the hot reservoir. The engine is doing work as an as a outcome of that heat. And part of the heat that it doesn't convert into uh, work, the heat is being dumped to the cold reservoir. So QC, okay? No engine operating between two temperatures can just simply do work without dumping heat, right? That is the second law of thermodynamics, right? So, um, so it can be shown that uh, the highest possible efficiency of any engine operating between two temperatures is known as the Carnot efficiency. The Carnot efficiency is known as the ideal efficiency of an engine. It's the highest efficiency, 100% times 1 minus T cold over T hot. Okay, so it's the, the ratio of the two temperatures, the, hot, the cold temperature to the hot temperature, right? Of course, if they're the same temperature, the hot and the cold, if they're both the same, the efficiency is going to be what? Zero percent. You're, you're not going to be able to operate any engine between two reservoirs that are the same temperature, right? But the other way you can express this is 100 percent times subtract them T hot minus T cold over T hot, right? <clears throat> so in this case, you are operating between 500 and 120. So what is the most efficient engine that you could have between these two temperatures? The Carnot efficiency, in this case, is going to be 100%. Now, when I subtract two temperatures, can I just subtract their Celsius or do I have to convert to Kelvin? The answer is you can just subtract their Celsius, 500 minus 120, because a unit change of Celsius is the same as a unit change of Kelvin. Right, uh, Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273. Delta K is equal to delta C. So a unit change of Kelvin is the same as the unit change of Celsius, right? So 500 minus 120, okay? <coughs> but the hot reservoir, the temperature T hot, I have to put it its actual Kelvin scale, right? This one here. So um, the 500, I have to convert it to Kelvin, 500 plus 273.15. And to be more exact, let's add the 0.15. So I get what? 773.15. 773.15. So let's calculate the, I, the highest efficiency that this engine can be. 500 minus 120, that gives you 380. Divided by 773 times 100, and you have the Carnot efficiency is equal to 49.15%. So the highest that this efficiency that this car can run at is 49%. But due to heat losses and frictional losses and all different kinds of other losses, the car is only going to be 
60% of the ideal efficiency that it can be. So what's 60% of 49%? That's going to give you the actual efficiency of the engine, right? So the actual efficiency, we can now say actual efficiency is equal to 0.6, which is 60% of 49.15%, okay? 29.49%. That sounds more reasonable, like a typical car might be 20 to 30% efficient, maybe even less, so 29.49%. Uh, so now, how are we gonna answer the question? Well, the efficiency of a, an engine is defined as how much work work out divided by QH. In other words, here's the idea. How much heat is this engine extracting from the hot reservoir and how much work is it able to do as a result of that, right? So work out divided by QH. Is work out ever gonna equal to QH? No. Second law of thermodynamics says this can never equal this, why? Because you gotta dump some heat to the cold reservoir. Uh, QH must equal to work out plus Q cold. You can never have Q cold equal to zero, right? And that's why this can never equal this, and that's why you can never have a 100% efficient engine, right? So in this case, we don't actually need to solve for Q cold, okay? All we're interested in is in the ratio of workout to QH. What is my actual efficiency? 29.49%. Express that as a decimal now. Okay, so 0.2949 equals work out, I don't know, okay. What is QH? QH is the amount of heat coming from the hot reservoir, which is a thousand joules coming in, okay. So a thousand, so what is work out? This times a thousand. And you get 294.9 joules. Okay? Okay. So, and that is the answer. So, for every thousand joules that it gets from the engine, 294.9 joules of heat uh, of work is being done. If the problem asks you how much heat is being dumped to the atmosphere, what is heat dumped, okay? And then that would be what? Well, that would be the Q cold, right? So since you know this is a thousand, since you know work out is 294.9, what's Q cold? So thousand minus 294.9, 705, 705.1 joules of energy is being dumped or wasted to the, uh, the atmosphere, okay, to the surroundings, okay? So you can see here, quite a lot of it, it is, uh, goes to waste. So these, quite the questions are very interesting because you get to use the Carnot efficiency equation, the equation for um, definition of uh, uh, efficiency, Work out QC, QH, all of these thermodynamical properties, okay? Thank you.